today let's discuss about 6 minute walk test so what is this 6 minute walk test the 6 minute walk test is a widely used fixed time field test applied in various rehabilitation interventions as an effective tool for analyzing functional capacity in patients with cardiovascular and pulmonary diseases so what is this functional capacity Functional capacity is the ability of a subject to carry out the routine activities or the activities of daily living such as walking, stair climbing, bathing, etc. The functional capacity is evaluated by cardiopulmonary exercise testing or CPET. So this CPET is a laboratory based test and it requires special equipment as well as trained professionals. So this necessitated the need for a simpler but similarly valid and reliable field test to measure the functional capacity. The 6 minute walk test is used as an alternative to cardiopulmonary exercise testing because it is cost effective and easy to perform and is evaluated by the distance walked in 6 minutes at a self selected pace. The 6 minute walk test is well standardized by the American Thoracic Society or ATS and is the most often used test in clinical practice to determine the functional capacity of patients with chronic lung diseases. Purpose of 6 minute walk test The 6 minute walk test is used in clinical practice for exercise tolerance assessment, evaluation of eligibility for treatment and rehabilitation as well as the determination of their outcomes and patient prognosis. Participant selection The 6 minute walk test can be used in patients with cardiovascular and pulmonary diseases before and after surgical interventions and in patients with neurological disorders and other chronic diseases, children and adults, sedentary, obese, middle-aged and old-age adults and in healthy people as well. So what are the indications? The main indications are assessment of treatment outcomes, assessment of exercise tolerance, determination of the patient prognosis. The indications of 6 minute walk test based on the guidelines of American Thoracic Society are for the pre and post treatment comparisons, lung transplantation, lung surgery, pulmonary rehabilitation, COPD, pulmonary hypertension and cardiac insufficiency. Then for the assessment of functional capacity and exercise tolerance, COPD, cystic fibrosis, cardiac insufficiency, peripheral vascular diseases, fibromyalgia and elderly patients. And for the prediction of morbidity and mortality, cardiac insufficiency, COPD and pulmonary hypertension. Contraindications Absolute contraindications include Unstable angina during the previous month, heart failure exaggeration, myocardial infarction during the previous month, primary angioplasty for STEMI within 7 to 10 days, elective coronary angioplasty within 24 hours, myocarditis or endocarditis, symptomatic arrhythmia and or conduction disorder, acute deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, pulmonary infarction. So what are the relative contraindications? They include resting heart rate more than 120 beats per minute, systolic blood pressure more than 180 mmHg or diastolic blood pressure more than 100 mmHg and uncontrolled arterial hypertension. Equipment required. First of all, we require a 30 meter straight uninterrupted pathway. Then a measuring tape or a measuring scale. Two cones stopwatch or a timer then an easily movable chair is required sphygmo manometer pulse oximeter a source of oxygen it can be like an oxygen cylinder resuscitation equipment like defibrillator clipboard with worksheets then we require box scale to measure the rate of perceived exertion of dyspnea Preparation of the pathway or location The pathway to perform 6 minute walk test should be 30 meters long, straight and uninterrupted. Marks has to be made at every 3 meter interval in order to facilitate the measurements. Two cones have to be placed, one at the starting and the other at the turnaround point. 
A chair should be placed at the halfway or two chairs can be placed at the starting and turnaround point. Make sure there is easy access to oxygen and telephone. Preparation of the patient. Make sure that the patient is wearing comfortable clothing and shoes. If the patient is a regular user of any walking aid, then instructions has to be given to use the walking aid during the test like walkers, crutches, canes. Any prescribed medication should be taken before the test like bronchodilators or any other medications. If the patient is on supplemental oxygen, use a portable oxygen cylinder with the same oxygen level that he or she normally uses. Light meals can be taken before morning and afternoon tests. The patient should rest at least 10 minutes before the test and should not have done any vigorous exercise. Method of 6 minute walk test Record pre vitals, blood pressure, heart rate, oxygen saturation. Make the patient stand and use the book scale to rate his or her dyspnea and fatigue. Set the lap counter to 0 and move to the starting point. Patient instructions and encouragement must be standardized according to ATS. Instruct the patient as follows. The object of this test is to walk as far as possible for 6 minutes. You will walk back and forth in this hallway. 6 minutes is a long time to walk so you will be exerting yourself. You will probably get out of breath or become exhausted. You are permitted to slow down, to stop and to rest as necessary. You may lean against the wall while resting but resume walking as soon as you are able to. You will be wa walking back and forth around the cones. You should pivot briskly around the cones and continue back the other way without hesitation. Now I am going to show you. Please watch the way I turn without hesitation. So from the starting point, walk straight till the turnaround point. From the turnaround point, pivot briskly around the cone and continue back the other way without any hesitation. Position yourself and the patient at the starting point. Start the timer as soon as the patient starts to walk. Note to walk behind the patient when you are accompanying him or her to avoid influencing the walking pace of the patient. Use the standard encouragements according to ATS. Once stopped, put marker at the distance stopped and make the patient sit comfortably. Immediately record post vitals, blood pressure, heart rate, oxygen saturation and assess the rate of perceived exertion using the book scale. If the patient stops during the test, to rest in between, keep the timer running. If the patient completely stops the test, always ask the reason for the termination or what limited him or her to stop the test. Record the total laps and excess distance walked can be measured using a tape rounding to the nearest meter marked. Congratulate the patient for the effort and monitor for any signs and symptoms. So the formula to predict the 6 minute walk test distance is this. Here gender is factored into the equation by male equals 1 and female equals 0. So here is an example to calculate the 6 minute walk test predicted distance. A male patient aged 65 years with a height of 159 centimeters and is 38 kg completed 5 laps in 6 walk test. So by applying all these things to the formula, we got 672.37 as the 6 minute walk test predicted value. But the patient completed only 5 laps which is equal to 300 meters. Interpretation According to studies, the distance walked by a healthy subject on 6 minute walk test ranges from 400 to 700 meters. Reference values for the average distance in a group of healthy men range from 735 meters plus or minus 98 meters to 580 meters. Healthy women range from 657 meters plus or minus 56 meters to 500 meters. If the distance walked is 6 minute walk test is near to normal predicted value, it indicates a good functional capacity. An increase of more than 60 meters in the subsequent test is considered a significant improvement in terms of rehabilitation outcomes. Thanks for watching. 
and for the complete article please visit healingphysio.com the link is in the description box and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel